Today on The Hobby Grotto, we're bringing this Tomb King's Horse Archer back from the dead. The first thing I'm going to do is remove some of these unsightly mold lines I missed in my youth. It certainly was a simpler time back then. I'm not going to get all of them, but uh, I can try and remove the more obvious ones. This miniature is on a classic 6th edition Warhammer Fantasy base. Static grass and goblin green rims, lovely, so we'll just leave that on. Restoring minis rather than paint stripping them is always a great option when they have sentimental value, and these Tomb Kings certainly have sentimental value. Since I first got into Warhammer over two decades ago, I've always had a fascination with the undead, but when Tomb Kings came out back in the year 2002, I really took notice. Something about the Egyptian theme really appealed to Teenage Alex. They had that historic element combined with the fantasy that was just so cool. Now, my painting may have improved since then, but I still have incredible nostalgia for my old minis, and I'm sure you all feel the same about your own collections, so the goal here is to keep those memories alive. I'm applying some Nuln Oil to all the bone. I'm mainly going to be concentrating on these areas, as they're certainly a focal point on a mini like this. And reworking the bone isn't going to change the overall original look of the mini too drastically. A byproduct of the old dry brushing I did here is that there isn't nearly enough shading going on, and it's amazing the difference a simple wash can make. I'm using the old paint as a base to build up the bone now, firstly with Ushabti Bone, the successor to the bleached bone this model would have originally seen. This green and gold colour scheme really holds a lot of memories for me. It just takes me right back to those days playing games of fantasy in the GW Sydney store battle bunker. The turquoise and gold certainly is the most well-known colour scheme of the Tomb Kings, but I clearly want it to be a bit different, and green is my favourite colour. So the goal here is to preserve the original look and idea of the mini as much as possible. Time for some highlights with a mix of Ushabti Bone and White. I have a lot more Tomb King stuff from my original army I'd like to restore like this, so this may be the start of a video series on the matter. Let me know in the comments if you're keen to see more stuff like this. I love the idea of restoring these old models to the way they are intended to be. Incidentally, here's my old converted Tomb Prince, Imhotep. If you hadn't guessed it, he's based on the character from the Mummy films. They were a big deal when I was a teenager, let me tell you. And there is no more appropriate general for a Tomb King's army in my mind. This was the old Albion Trusayer model, with a Marauder head. Back to the Horse Archer, some final edge highlights with pure white will really bring out that skelly detail. Now these are bleached, ancient tomb skeletons from the deserts to the south of the Old World, so I want them to be quite bright looking. These aren't grim dark skeletons. I like to add little dots of this white to highlight, just added to key areas. Bone is quite easy to highlight as there's so much inbuilt contrast to the sculpts. Now I'm going to add a few more highlights to these other areas of the mini, just to bring them in line with the uh, refreshed bone. A pale brown mixed with Rhinox Hide and Ushabti Bone will add a bit more dimension to the wooden parts. And for the green, I've mixed in a bit of yellow with Warpstone Glow to try and replicate the original highlight as I have no idea what I would have used back then, probably Scorpion Green or something. I've added a highlight straight down the middle of the quiver here too, just to make the mold line look like a seam. Over the years, this gold has lost its luster, and it wasn't that neatly painted, so I'm bringing some more metallic shine back. First with some Gehennas, and then with a silver highlight, just to really make those ancient metals glimmer. The restoration is complete! This is how the model should look in my mind, and I'm so happy how it turned out, keeping the original style while improving the overall look. And hopefully this inspired you to go back to some of your old minis and give them a refresh. Thanks for watching! And we'll see you next time on The Hobby Grotto.